ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Eminem's Shell Shocked. I understand your thoughts from the title, or even just the screen, that the game seems like an odd concept. A game, re by, uh, bleh, a game based around some chocolate. Admittedly, it is, but don't get me wrong. Well, my yellow... That doesn't make any sense of context. But the game is good, at least from what I remember. Basically, in this video and tour series, depending on whatever I decide to do, will just be me revisiting my past, you know, just for nostalgia. And to entertain you guys at home, or oh, whatever I do. I used to play this game pretty much non-stop back in the day saved up all my money to um or maybe I ma nagged my mum to um, buy the game for some reason I don't know why I wanted this game but you know it's, it surprised me it was well it, it didn't surprise me then because I thought every game was good probably thought Bear in the Blue House was the best game ever. Now, don't get me wrong, at some points it can be way too easy, but then again at other points, it can, oh, it can be pretty challenging. I'll give the game that. Can't really seem to decide in its difficulty level, it seems. And other times it can be Pretty damn lucky, but I enjoyed it. And I wonder if oh oh that's a bit of shit. Um, I'll just see if I still enjoy it to this day. The game seems to hold the comparisons with Crash Bandicoot in some levels, as you can kind of tell. It does have that sort of Crash Bandicoot style game. At least Crash Bandicoot camera, we can say that. And there are other levels where this will definitely become even more apparent. And so yeah. That's that's not even okay. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, it seems to be giving off lives way too generously if I've been playing. Oh my. Barely even five minutes and I've already got ten lives. But I've already lost three, so I haven't got ten lives, I've got seven. Master of Maths. Jesus, that's. How am I. I don't even know how to just avoid that. I shouldn't be saying this in a game for like five year olds, but there we go. See, I can't get on the pavement. And I'm sure everyone is face palming at home in synchronicity. Jesus! Can't slow down. I can't speed up. I was able to do this as a youngin, and I can't do it anymore. Oh, there we go. I can do it. That's just because I'm great now. Uh, I hope this level doesn't last for me. Oh, now I've got to do it all over again. Yay. I suck. Oh, okay. Apparently I did it again. Yeah, that's fine with me. So from what I've gathered, these boxes have... That was just dumb. I was saying, these boxes have no idea what they're doing. Sometimes they give off plenty of M&Ms. Other times they give off barely any at all. Jesus Christ, I suck. 
And I don't see why an M&M &M is, oh shit, collecting other M&Ms. That would be like Sonic the Hedgehog collecting other hedgehogs. It wouldn't make much sense. And it would probably be very painful. Ooh, ah, oh, did it. And, oh, that's the thing. That's another annoying thing. You just simply touch the road and you die. Oh, the pavement even. You touch the pavement and you're done with. And that can be very frustrating. And I'm about to die. I'm really good at this game, right? Don't regress it. Don't deny it even. Regress it even makes sense. Oh, I'm saying so much shit. Right, okay. You can tell I'm tired. Oh, I've had like one hour's sleep. Oh no, I've got four lives apparently. That's fine with me. Oh, and that's also something. The level is divided into zones. So you've got the checkpoints in level, and then you've got each zone. So it's basically like, and each level has kind of a different basis, I think. Like, you know, like one's driving one, one's a, I don't know, a runny one, and then another one, you're a dog trying to control your pee. Mm-hmm. Let's just pretend. Let's just pretend that that last level is actually in the game. Mmm. That's a bit of shit. See, that's the thing. And I've just kind of poked my microphone in oof, the face. No. I've gone from having two lives. To having six in a matter of seconds. That's pretty ridiculous. Pretty, pretty, so pretty, pretty ridiculous though. And I've, okay, I've got to ride over the checkpoint to actually get it. That's another thing kind of stolen from. Crash Bandicoot, it seems. And I don't know why I'm... Okay, there we go. I keep, like, hopping and jumping everywhere. And it doesn't really make... What's it? What's that mean? Okay. I think it would be an idea for me to save here. There we go. That took way too long to um, discover my memory card, but I don't see why I should care that much. I suppose it's PlayStation 1. This game is 12 years old. I shouldn't be expecting much of it. Oh god, I remember I spent tireless amounts of time. If, I don't know if that makes sense, but whatever. On this level. And I'm not kidding. Well, that's just bullshit. As a kid, as I was saying. And I never really got past this, I don't think. And this isn't even part of the game. I've gotten this far in under 10 minutes. Oh shit, oh shit, what the fuck? You can't do that, you dick. Oh! Oh, that's bullshit, but it, at least I got one just before. Ah! Oh, okay, oh well. Sometimes the car's controls can be a bit iffy, but I mean, in the long run, though, you get used to them. As much as the sound effect for moving might get a bit annoying you kind of have to get over it after a while and if you're good if you're an MLG like me 
then you don't have to hear it too often because after this I believe it's you're just on a a runny stage. It's even more like Crash Bandicoot than this is. in them boxes. Am I right? Or am I right? And I've done it. That's level one completed. Wait, little friend. Maybe it's time to ask who's the best candy for the job. Maybe this for the ringer. No. Cutscenes are awful, just remembered. So on the next episode of Jeff Plays, we will move on to level two. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.